sitting gear on steroids. It's unbelievable. It's resp very responsive. It has well, it's twin tillers, but three metres wide, but you can literally move from side to side and you'll feel the difference. You'll feel it rock. Every other race, you, you know where your competitors are precisely. You know what the weather's going to be precisely. Uh, you can talk to people on land if you're feeling um, uncertain or there's a problem on the boat. But on, on this race, the Mini Transat, it's much tougher psychologically. The Mini Transat for offshore sailing, I think, is um, a brighter passage, really. But mostly, um, most of my sports, they just enjoy being part of the project, being part of the team and uh, being part of my dream and infusing and the enthusiasm towards it. And to get new talent into offshore yacht racing, it, it wouldn't happen without um, someone sponsoring it to start it off. So I think it's critical to sort of help people at a, at a early stage, at a young stage, and it's not it's not that expensive to do it, and you could find a find a star. The Mini Transat would, would definitely appeal to a young company, an adventurous company, which matches uh, the sailor on board the Mini Transat, like Nikki. Back to basics, I quite like the adventure of it. I mean, as a kid, I was always excited, sort of camping in the garden and doing that things. It's, it's kind of bringing the excitement back, and I love it.